Okay, so this is the intraaortic balloon pump screen. Um, this is the screen monitor for that. Also, there is a control board for the intraaortic balloon pump right here. Um, I'm just going to bring it. And usually it's kind of sit like this. Um, I should have taken a full picture of the whole machine. But anyway, and um, as you said, this is uh, here the uh, source, the trigger source. Because as you know, this machine needs to know when is systole and when is diastole. The frequency is how often the balloon pump will augment is it every beat one to one every second beat one to two or every third beat one to three the sicker or more support the patient needs you use one to one and the less one to two and one to three again as an internal medicine resident, you won't be touching this and please do not because this is the cardiologist decide on that or the cardiology team decide on that as you can tell if we going to wean then we win the support we go this direction one information you will notice again you won't be managing this but one to one and one to two can stay for days the patient on the machine but one to three we don't use it more than 30 minutes maybe and it's usually part of weaning process at the end of our weaning we check hemodynamics at one to three if the patient's tolerating that then we say the patient is ready. There is a risk of blood clotting with this. That's why we don't use it more than 30 minutes. In intraortic balloon pump, we always, or the cardiologists, they use heparin drip to be infused to prevent clotting uh, while using this machine. But remember, one to one, one to two are the most commonly used, and one to three only for preparing for weaning this is here the augmentation the volume um, that we deliver in the balloon and this is the max and this is of of course and then um, this is kind of correlate uh, all these correlates on the screen I'll show I'll show you in a, a second here as you see this is the trigger the trigger source the options here one of them is AKG and um, that's what we picked. So the machine sends when is the diastole based on the EKG and then decide to inflate the balloon. This is an arterial line for the intraortic balloon pump to measure the blood pressure. And uh, the machine sometimes can check the di diacritic notch when the aortic valve close. And um, that's when the... Um, diastole start right as you see here the blood pressure using the arterial line and there is assisted and unassisted and this is mainly with one to two and one to three because with one to one every beat is assisted just give you the difference between assisted and unassisted the this is the deflation of the balloon and inflation the timing of that you can set it manually or auto like here and this is the kind of i uh, the pressure need to fill the balloon with this amount of air and this is the helium uh, so how much air in the balloon for example and um, again you don't need to know all these details, but it's good to know, just have a general idea. We let the cardiologist handle every uh, thing on this machine. That just gives you an idea of that. So this lady had this balloon pump placed and she was scheduled for cabbage. I think she had it yesterday. They removed the cabbage in the, o uh, sorry, they removed the balloon pump in the OR and she was at this augment initial she was one to one and then one to two we were using heparin a drip um uh, in her case for anticoagulation um again she was the main indication for this was um is to um r relieve her chest pain she was not in cardiogenic shock and that's still an indication for an intraortic balloon um, pump um, 
Also, sometimes I've seen some cardiologists in, in lift main disease, severe lift main disease, they do prophylactic placement of intra-aortic balloon pump until they get them to surgery and do their cabbage. Um, so that's basically how the intra-aortic balloon pump uh, functioning. And I think if you know this, that would be more than enough uh, for us at this point. The last thing I need to mention, when you do physical exam, uh, there is a button, it's not shown on the screen, there is the button to start and button to stand by. If you listen to the patient heart while the balloon pump, you're not going to hear anything. You're not going to hear the balloon inflating and deflating. So you need to push the button that calls standby. This will pause the machine for um, until you listen and finish your physical exam, and then you can hit, hit resume or start. But remember, any problem with this, please leave it to the cardiologist to decide on.